Welcome to the snow show and welcome to the host of the 1998 Winter Olympics, Hapo One in Hakuba, Japan. Today we take on the Olympic downhill course, do some more training and learn how to control our speed. We'll discover how to choose the best snowboard bindings and the importance of wearing quality thermal base layers. We also check out the Hapo and everything it has to offer. Plus, you and a friend could win the ultimate Hakuba snow getaway of your own. Hey guys, I'm Andrew McComb. And I'm Daniel Mee. Founder of Hakuba Snow Sports School and welcome to the snow show at Hapo One. Hapo One was the home of many of the ski racing events at the 1998 Winter Olympics and is the largest and most popular resort in the Hakuba Valley. And as well as being host of the 1998 Winter Olympics, also hosts the Free Ride World Tour. Hapo boasts 1,700 metres of vertical drop and has a steep pitch, making it best suited for intermediate and advanced skiers and boarders alike. Well, Andy, we're going to take you to the highest lift in the Huckaba Valley, and I'll show you what Hapo on Air has to offer. Sounds exciting. Let's get amongst it. Here we are at the very highest lift in the Huckaba Valley. This is a Hapo Nair Grat Quad. This lift was specifically built for the men's downhill in the 1998 Winter Olympics. The men's downhill requires a certain amount of elevation before the event can be held. And uh, Hapo was probably wasn't quite high enough, so they had to build this lift and get special permission for it because this lift is actually built on National Park. The uh, men's downhill started just from down here on this rollover, and uh, the start shed was there, but that's had to be relocated again because we're on National Park. It's a uh, very advanced run and it goes top to bottom. You can imagine because they had the men's downhill, it's uh, very steep. So this run isn't very good for beginners or intermediates. It's really an advanced run. You'd need to be a pretty good skier or snowboarder to tackle this one. Andy, uh, you made some real improvements recently, haven't you? Well, are you saying I'm advanced? Yeah, man, I, I think you're ready to tackle the men's downhill from the 1998 Olympics. All right, should I do the old downhill start? Yeah, let's, let's see the uh, kickoff and I'll follow you down here, eh? All right, let's flag the kickoff, mate, but let's get amongst it. Right, Andy, well, that's uh, halfway down the men's downhill course at Hapo One. <laughs> halfway mate. already? Yeah, it's, uh, you can see it's pretty challenging, isn't it? Mate, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. We're only halfway. That's taking us a couple of minutes. And I, what does a run take? Yeah, it's, uh, like I say, we're halfway. The downhill takes, they do it in about two minutes. So you can see, imagine how fast they're going. You're kidding. Well, mate, what I've noticed too is these poles are certainly help, having more upright have helped with the uh, speed control. Yep. Uh, but I feel like I need a bit more training. What do you reckon? Yeah. So rather than going all the way to the bottom, I think what we'll do is cut out here and um, go and have a look at their training centre they have here. It's uh, a bit easier run and um, we'll continue with your progression, eh? Yeah, I think I need some training. Yep. Let's go. Righto. 
This ski school lesson brought to you by Hakaba Snow Sports School. In today's lesson, we're going to look at speed control and how a smooth turn shape can make your skiing effortless and give you more consistency. The key to understanding speed control is understanding gravity and resistance. The orientation of my skis to the pull of gravity will dictate whether I'm accelerating or decelerating. In a turn, you've got two parts to the turn. You've got the go faster part, the top of the turn, and the bottom of the turn, the speed control or slow down part. Gravity is pulling us down the hill. As I turn my skis down the hill, less of my edge is orientated across gravity, therefore my speed increases here. This is the acceleration part. The point of least resistance is in the middle of your turn, therefore that's where you accelerate the quickest. As I steer my feet back across the pull of gravity, more of my edge comes across the hill, therefore the resistance increases, so my speed starts to decrease. If I'm coming across the hill and I'm still going too fast, how can I slow down even more? I can steer my feet back up the hill to resist the pull of gravity even more. Now, most people when they're skiing don't realize this and they try and dig their edges in to control their speed and fight the mountain. We must learn to use the mountain in our turn shape to control our speed. Some people, they come down here, they're turning down the hill, they never complete their turn. They come to about 45 degrees here down the hill and then they start their new turn. What happens to our speed when we start our new turn, just like up here? Resistance will decrease, so your speed increases again. So what we find is people are always getting faster, they never slow down enough. What I like to see people do is make sure they finish their turns. You steer your feet around and you bring them back up the hill even to control your speed before you start your new turn. You must learn to control your speed by finishing your turn using the mountain and the turn shape to slow you down. This way you're not going to need to use your edges and jam the snow to slow down. So key here, finish your turn, use the mountain and the turn shape, steer your skis for a longer duration, back up the hill, ditch your speed, and then you're going to be comfortable to let your skis accelerate down the hill again. I would rather see you stop at the end of the turn and start again than carry too much speed into the turn and get that faster, 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 faster sort of situation you end up in a big uh, explosion or a garage sale down the bottom. Speed control is about steering your feet and using the mountain to control your speed. For more great ski and snowboard lessons, visit the snowshow.tv forward slash ski school. We're just below the top of the gondola at the Hapo One. This is the Kokosai number three lift. It's their form of their training center. It's a great slope for intermediate advance to hone their skills and to really get amongst it. Beautiful views, Dan. You've got the panoramic view there of all the way to Iwataki and then all the way down to Hakaba Valley. And then quite, quite an expansive run too, by the looks of it, a bit, bit uh, more than up above there. Yeah, funny you say that because the name of this run is the Panorama Run. Wow, isn't that apt? Yeah, it's very apt. Very intuitive, aren't I? Yes, you are. And uh, tell you what, why don't you practice some of the skills we've worked on already and uh, lead the way down here. All right, let's go. Oh, that was an interesting little finish there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Andy, I think uh, one thing I notice you coming down those steeper sections is you tend to really drop your hands down, okay, and it really rounds you off and gets you into this sort of position. One thing that you can think about that will really help out your skiing is bring your poles forward, okay, and the tops of our poles should be pointing up, not the tops of the poles pointing down. You can see the baskets of my poles should be out in front of me. Any pole work is just from my wrists. But if I drop these poles, look what happens. 
Yes, now you can get a sort of old woman look. Yep. Okay, I want to be a little bit up. So the tops of my poles are pointing up and the baskets are in front of me. Any pole work is just out in front like this. All right, let's give it a crack. Hey, mate. Wow, what a great training run. Yeah, it's a good one, that one, isn't it? It's the uh, Kokosai number three lift at Hapo, and uh, probably it's their best training facility they've got here, really. Um, it's great for the intermediates and um, advanced to practice on. Still not great for beginners, but um, how do you find it? I love the width. You know, you've got the width, you've got, and to me, the width like, seems like it degradients or de lofts or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the snow quality too is just fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and your beautiful views. Views are, views are a bonus, aren't they? But uh, yeah, no, I really felt like a, that whole thing we talk about poles is starting to come together. I don't know what you think, but yeah, I definitely loved it as a training facility. Yep, no, you're doing really well, Andy. Okay, uh, let's run on. We're gonna go and have a look at the uh, skyline lift now. All right, let's go. Brilliant. The latest in ski and snowboard equipment brought to you by Rhythm Rentals. For all your ski and snowboard equipment needs, visit the snowshow.tv forward slash ski equipment. We're at the top of the Skyline chairlift at Hapo Aone. Okay, this is a fantastic run for everyone, really. You've got uh, a nice cat track, which winds around and gives you a great view of the mountains. We've got a nice bowl down the middle for intermediates in advance, and we've got some playful terrain on either side of the basin. You've got trees up the left and you've got some beautiful terrain and moguls further down over on the right hand side. What do you think of it, Andy? Uh, I'm just in awe of the massiveness of it, Daniel. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a nice little bowl. It's probably my favourite little run because it's got something for everyone, like I say, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a real playful little area. It's also sheltered from a bit of the elements as well. Should we have a go and have a play? Yeah, let's go. You lead the way, Andy. Okay.
Wow, what a run. Yeah, that's the skyline run at Hapo Andy. Thoughts? Love the contours of the bowl. Like you can literally follow that bowl the whole way down, side to side. So if you want to go straight down, you can. Love the trees. And yeah. for me, I'm a visual guy. So as always, just love the views. Yeah, yeah. Got a bit of a puff on there, Andy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been a hard day on the slopes. Absolutely, yeah. that, absolutely love that one. Yeah, but that, that run there is uh, fantastic. It's got the beginner's uh, cat track that goes right around and you've got the panorama views over the side where the cat track leads you. Then you can drop into the trees off the cat track. You've got the side to side bowl. You get, it's almost like a big skate bowl. That's you nice. know, and you've got a few cat tracks to go through there. You saw a few guys taking jumps off here and stuff as well, which is also entertaining. Yeah, great for the uh, snowboarders as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so anyway, Let's, uh, we can take this cat track right to the bottom, back to the gondola. Shall we go for one more lap, top to bottom? Absolutely, let's go. Let's do it. The latest in ski and snowboard clothing brought to you by Halley Hansen. Alive since 1877. For all your ski and snowboard clothing needs, visit hallihansen.com.au. After our adrenaline charged day at Hapo One, we decided to stay at the Hapo, Huckaba's newest and most modern 30 room hotel. Centrally located only 200 metres from Hapo One and designed perfectly for the ski and snowboard tourist. After a great day on the slopes, our first priority was the relaxation of the on-site onsen, which washed away all of our falls and pains. And to top it off, we sweated it out in the traditional Finnish sauna, which had us fired up for a big night out. Our first stop was the Grill Restaurant, which is a contemporary nature-based dining concept produced by Chef Katsu from Huckabee's number one restaurant, Mimi's. The grill offers Mediterranean specialties prepared with local Shinzu ingredients. And we chose Shinzu salmon and pork, which are signature dishes prepared in the wood-fired oven. Having refueled, we headed to the clubhouse, the bar connected to the Hapo. It was a vibrant hub of activity. And as luck would have it, it was comedy night. The Australian comedian was hilarious, even if not everyone could understand his good old Aussie humour. Overall, the warmth and hospitality of the Hapo, combined with the delicious food and good times at the grill and the clubhouse, are a must visit when staying in Huckaba. Want to win the ultimate Huckaba Japan ski adventure for two, worth over $10,000? This epic prize includes an amazing $1,500 ski clothing pack from Halley Hansen, five nights luxurious accommodation at the Hapo, five days skiing or snowboarding at your choice of 10 world-class ski resorts, five days of ski or snowboard lessons with the legendary Huckaba Snow Sports School, all your ski and snowboard rentals from Rhythm Rentals, and a pair of Oakley's revolutionary snow goggles for each of you plus transfers to and from Tokyo with Nagano Snow Shuttles. So, 
What are you waiting for? Head to thesnowshow.tv and click on the Huckaba competition tile for your chance to win this adventure of a lifetime. Hapo ne, Hapo one, Hapo. A resort with three different takes on the name. Beautiful resort, Dan. A lot of, lot of history here, obviously, with the Olympics. A lot of length, too. It's, you know, it's the highest uh, peak in the valley from top to bottom, so it's definitely got some big runs. A bit steeper than some of the other fields, but seriously, mate, the challenge is what I love. It, it makes me want to get better. Yeah, no, definitely. It's uh, the three runs we covered. You've got the men's downhill, you've got the uh, training centre, and then you've got over on Skyline there, which is a really playful little run, isn't it? Absolutely, and mate, speaking of training, I think I need a lot more, and probably that it was of the three runs, probably the one that suited me the best, but really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, and so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's quite a tough mountain. It's not one I'd really recommend for beginners, but um, it's definitely an advanced mountain and advanced and intermediate players. And remember, you've got that backcountry back there, which is, you know, I say it's world-class backcountry terrain, so that's a draw card for those really good riders and that. Mm. Well, it's a large resort. You've got, certainly got a lot of options. I'll be coming back. Here's to... Hapo. Hapo one. Hapo one. If you feel inspired to ski or snowboard Hakaba Japan, check out our amazing offers at thesnowshow.tv forward slash Hakaba. Well, there it is, guys. I'm Andrew McComb. And I'm Daniel Mee. And thanks for watching The Snow Show at Hakaba's Hapone. For more video special offers and information, go to thesnowshow.tv or follow us on YouTube at The Snow Show. And for all your ski and snowboard lesson requirements, come see us at Huckaba Snow Sports School. Andy, great day at Hapo. Yeah, gold medal performance, I thought. Yeah, more <laughs> like a bronze, I reckon, mate. You reckon? Bit of work to do? Yeah, still a bit of work.